that's where my old gas boiler used to be. Instead of that, we've now put in a heat pump. And the heat pump is just outside this window here in the garden. It's completely silent from inside the house. If I go outside, it's a very, very cold November 28th evening, around 10 o'clock in the evening. It's minus two, two and a half, probably going to reach minus three. Let's have a look at the thermometer. It says, yeah, about minus two and a half at the moment, but it's going to get colder than that. And there's the heat pump humming away nicely. And even when it's working hard at these sub-zero temperatures, it doesn't really make that much noise at all. Very quiet. I can talk over it easily. It's just a, a whoosh. That's it. So how is it performing in terms of temperature in the house? Let's have a look. So as you can see there, it's getting on or above the set temperature quite easily. I've actually got the temperature set to 19 and it's hitting that quite easily. In fact, it regularly overshoots. So I've had to turn down a few radiators this one here has been turned down a lot. The one in the kitchen has been turned down a lot. As you can see, it's at about 1.7. And the one in the living room has also been turned down a lot. It's down to about one and a half and the reason for that is to stop the heat pump from cycling too often what you want is for the heat pump to run continuously at the set temperature uh, you want it not to overshoot by more than half a degree and so it's important to balance your radiators to achieve the temperature you want, whether that's 19, 20, 21. And the best way to do that is to use the radiator balancing and to have the, the temperature of the water flowing through the radiators low enough, not too low, not too high, just enough so that it maintains the temperature of the house constant at the temperature you want with the heat pump running as constantly as possible then uh, that gives you the best running cost combination uh, combined with efficiency.